was like, well, I'm not over there. But then I realized it was Brand. I'm so confused. <laughs> Guys are twins, I was. Man. I thought you were. I. I, don't, I thought you were playing like a replay from earlier or some <laughs> crap. I was like, "What's happening right now? Why am I there?" Yeah, Brand, Brand's your long lost brother. He's man. not. He's actually my dad. I believe it. I believe it. Believe it or not. Yeah. It's. Uh, oh, I would have actually said that would have been really interesting to see if he had a Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Considering how much yeah. she's on the come up now, but. Getting right into it, back to the same match that we saw before. Wait, who was pulling up the Roy? Um, was it Brand or was it Utopian? Because Utopian, oh, no, that was, it was Brand. It was Brand. Brand. Okay, yeah, yeah. no, Utopian had say, Rosa. Because Utopian definitely. Utopian has oh. like every character. As Utopian far as I definitely know. has been playing a lot of Roy in friendlies lately. So. Oh really? Yeah, okay. I see him playing Roy every week. Oh wow. But Brand, that would have been funny because he complains about Rob a lot. I would have made fun of him for changing to a worse character. <laughs> But, Man, uh, but sometimes it's like, you gotta switch the character because of the matchup, even if they yeah. are slightly worse but ones. Back to the match. Uh, both players are looking pretty strong so far. Wow. Oh, Brand. Okay, so. Brand. Oh, that gyro. Yeah, okay. Lately, Brand has been putting in so much work with his gyro game. I don't know if you noticed. Yeah, no. But definitely have. he's. Because that was the main thing. That's what I told him before. I was like, your Rob is so good, but you don't use your gyro enough. It's your best tool. And so he's been working on those gyro setups, and I see him getting those like gyro fares or those double throws where he'll like shoot it out and then like Z catch it and throw it yeah. again, stuff like that. And it's so it's there's the cleanup or the, the cleanups, the setups are so clean. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to see him optimizing his character. You know, you know, I definitely like I, one of the things I'd always like recognize Brand as is just like one of the most raw robs out there because like. Yeah. Literally, just a lot of his moves are like a lot of times he's killing you. It's just like a raw Kyle with up smash. Somewhere. Yeah, a lot of the stuff he so much up smash. Ooh, okay. A lot smash. of the yeah, that was actually really nice. But yeah, like you like you were saying, you know, he relies so much less on Rob's options and a lot more on just his raw skill as a player. I see more more often. Yeah, you know. But I definitely think that like that actually makes him more unique as a Rob player. It's like. He yeah. kind of decided to master the game as Rob instead of mastering Rob, so... Ooh, oh, that was disgusting. That was absolutely amazing from Utopian Ray. He got the very late hit of the down air, which is a very it's a very slight spike, especially right there. Obviously, Bran was at very low percent, but he confirmed it into the footstool, which... I've, I've only seen that from uh, Rosalina a few times, but it's really amazing to... Just yeah, see that's like to see that so kind of stuff happening here. You know, that's amazing. And I mean, we got we sometimes have high quality content on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we do. <laughs> and then we got those angles flat. <laughs> but anyways, getting into this, we got um. Seems like we're starting off the match the same way that we did last time. Um, yeah. Brand kind of being forced to that platform and then just trying to play the catch up game. The thing is, being on a platform against Rosalina is never fun. You yeah, because she's got that up air, she's got her back air, she's got so many options that are so good for catching you when you're above her. The biggest thing too is that like the fun, the keep away game that Rob would want to play completely negated by gravity. Um, goal. Yeah, and it's not like the only way that he could realistically act and then punish is if he was holding gyro. But if he doesn't have gyro in hand, there's no way he can really bait out gravity pull and punish. Right. Yeah, I definitely agree with you on that note. But um, is that a Deluma? No. Brand right here, just really trying to catch up. You know, he's, if anything, he's going to have to really abuse his rage. Oh. Wow, that was an amazing catch by Utopian. He uh, he was ready, he was aware that uh, Rob's back air pushes him forward. He got the power shield and turned around and got that super quick up smash. It was amazing. Ooh, okay, interesting mix up there. Yeah, um. Brand, he's so good at mixing things up. You never catch him autopiloting, you know? Yeah, that's definitely a good thing to have. Wow. Oh my god. That, that was weak up air into Luma. Yeah, that's um I mean the the hitbox stays out for so long, you know? Yeah. It's such a prominent option, especially against large and uh, heavy characters like Rob. Yeah, and no, it's just like sometimes against those lingering hitbox, there really isn't much you can do if you just no. can't avoid yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. Oh. 
So, oof. Ooh, he was up smash That was there. a little preemptive. I don't know. I'm not sure what he was looking for because he wasn't I, really on the ledge or anything. The so. only thing I could think is, like, Utopian has been throwing out a couple of early uppies, so hopefully yeah. trying to catch that. But I, I, I don't like, know if that was a little bit too ooh, early he's for that. Fishing, he's fishing really hard for the kill. You can tell he's really desperate to get the stock out of the way. But that's going to be yeah, a little back there. here. And Utopian is going to go up 2-1 in this set. So... Trying to think, I'm trying to think of what Brand really needs to do to just. Honestly, the sad, like the sad truth is that you know there's. It, I, I'm sure there are some things that he can do differently, but like his options are so skewed in this matchup. You know, he's such a big character, and his options, like as far as like you know, like ledge and off stage and stuff like that. You know, Utopian can just abuse his character so hard. Ooh, yeah. Now it's like. No, Rob has a very, very solid punish game, but it's just a problem of getting in. The good thing is Rosalina's is light, so as long as he gets his hands on her around, um, say like 80 to 100 percent, he should be able to take her stock, especially on this stage. Yeah. Um, but yeah, still, definitely. always a chore to get in. Oh, God. It's a lot easier said than done, you know. Yeah. Topian taking a very commanding lead early in this game one or game one, game three. Um, you know, like. We've been seeing this, you know, the past few games he's been taking an early lead. And game one, Bran was definitely able to, to take it back, but yeah, we'll no, see if he's, he's able to do it now. He's, he's off to a pretty good start on making this deficit back up. Ooh, okay. Good conversion there. Wow, that was smart. You see, he, he double jumped, or he went for the, the full hop air dodge just to make sure Luma doesn't hit him, and then he went for the up air. Yeah, uh, I feel like the, like the little like bending that Rob does actually got him away from that Luma up air. Yeah. I'm chasing him. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Wow. I'm surprised Utopian action action. didn't go for it. That was really interesting right there how the uh, the late down air forced a Pratt fall uh, on Rob. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Clean. Very clean stuff. You know, uh, Brand's really got to dig deep in this situation like this. Ooh. Oh, oh, is that? Wow. See, that's the same exact thing he did last time, you know? I've actually never seen that. I don't really see this matchup very often, but uh, I've never thought of that option. You know, it's not really something you think of. Usually you think of either I'm going to go straight for it or I'm just going to avoid Luma. And he kind of does both in the same yeah, the action, same option, which is, yeah. is pretty crazy. Yeah, you don't really see too many people actually go for that. It's just um, you just hope Luma doesn't hit you most of the time, but yeah. he's conscious about that. I'm going to have to remember that. I, <laughs> I got to yeah. apply that. You know, I get scared of Luma a lot. So, yeah, Brand dropping down the knowledge right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no, but... Nah, he's not gonna live. Gonna, he's he's uh, a little too heavy for that. Did he live? But he's still off stage. He's oh. probably... Oh, Brand. Ooh. Oh, he's out of gas. He's out of gas. Two late up airs. Still not gonna do it. Oh, that air. Covering his landing right now. Trying to look okay. for that up air? Okay. Not quite. Yeah. If he, if One he, more. If he One botched more up that it. DI, he definitely would have died. <laughs> I don't think he had the DI on it. It wasn't the worst DI he could it have. It wasn't, had, but, but yeah, if he oh, oh, sending him straight up. Yeah, that's one of those weird. That, that I noticed that. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I'm surprised. Yeah, the first one just barely missed, and um, it's a shame. I, I'm not really sure why he went for the second one. I don't think it was the best option, but Utopian capitalized on it really well. Yeah, no, um, definitely did. Like a like. Brand had um, the right idea there, but just unfortunately, just slightly off, and then stuck in that leg. Utopian Ray just took it. Yeah, he definitely had a lot of time, you know, with how how fast Rosalina's up smashes. Uh, it can be really easy to just slip up like that and get hit.